Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this 4x4 four four grid such that the areas in these boxes are 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, and 6 respectively. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And moreover, we have kept these boxes same to make things simple. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the side lengths of these given rectangles. Let me go ahead and call this side length of this rectangle as an A, this side length B, this side length C and this side length D. Then these side lengths are going to be A, B, C and D as well. And now let me label these side lengths as well. I'm going to call this side length X, this side length Y, this side length Z and this side length W, then these side length are going to become X, Y, Z and W as well. And now let's recall the area of the rectangle formula, area equals to length times width. And now let's focus on this green rectangle. Its dimensions are A and X. So the area of this green rectangle is going to become a times x and this is what we are going to find the value of and here's our next step let's focus on this box this rectangle whose area is 2 then the area of this rectangle is going to become a times w equals to 2 by applying this area of rectangle formula now let's focus on this next shaded rectangle whose area is 1 then its area could be written as BW equals to 1. And now the area of this shaded rectangle whose area is 3 is going to become BZ equal to 3. Now the area of this shaded rectangle is going to become CZ equals to 2. Now the area of this next rectangle is going to be CY equals to 4. And the area of this shaded rectangle is going to be dy equals to 3 and finally the area of this shaded rectangle is going to become dx equals to 6 and now let me go ahead and call this very first equation as number 1 this as equation number 2 this as equation number 3 and finally this last equation as number 7 now based on all these equations we are going to find the value of a x and here's our next step let's go ahead and divide equation 1 by equation 2 then we can write this one as a w divided by b w equals to 2 over 1 here we can see w and w is gone so we can write this one as a over b equals to 2 divided by 1. Let me go ahead and call this equation 8. Now let's divide this equation 3 by equation 4. So we can write b z divided by c z equal to 3 divided by 2. And here z and z they cancel each other out so we simply ended up with b over c equals to 3 divided by 2 let me call this equation as equation number 9 now let's go ahead and divide equation 5 by equation 6 so we can write this one as cy divided by dy equals to 4 divided by 3 and now we can see that y and y they are gone so we simply ended up with 
c divided by d equals to 4 over 3 and let me call this as equation number 10 and finally let's divide this equation 7 by this equation 6 so i can write dx divided by dy equal to 6 divided by 3 and here we can see this d and d they are gone so we simply ended up with x over y equals to this 6 over 3 could be reduced to 2 divided by 1 let me go ahead and call this our equation number 11 and here's our next step let's go ahead and multiply out these equation 8 9 10 and 11 let's go ahead and multiply the left hand side first a over b times b over c times c over d times x over y equals to let's multiply out the right hand side 2 over 1 times 3 over 2 times 4 over 3 times 2 over 1 and now we can see on the left hand side this b and b is gone this c and c is gone and likewise on this side this 2 and 2 is gone and this 3 and 3 is gone as well so therefore we ended up with the ax divided by dy equals to 8 now let's multiply both sides by dy to isolate this ax so this dy and dy is gone so therefore we got ax equals to 8 times dy and now let's look at this equation 6 our dy value is 3 so therefore i am going to replace this dy by 3 so our ax value turns out to be 8 times 3 which is equal to 20 Four. So thus our area of this uh, green rectangle AX turns out to be 24 square units. So thus the area of this green shaded rectangle turns out to be 24 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.